when you're looking for logs, it's way better to get uh, logs that have this rotting going on in the center. Not so much chain work and not so dangerous. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Who are you? Hey. You wanna go in there? Go on there, what's that? What's that in there, huh? That your doggy, is it? That thing looks expensive. <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna put this on here because the critters, the moles and the mice and what else? Moles, mice, rabbits. We're gonna put rabbits. that on there. Double, double layer it. I don't know, do, 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 can mice chew through this or rocks? No. no. Okay, so we'll just do one then. I had a hand truck would have been really handy, but uh, no, my they're wife a, took it to her office. Nah, they're a pain in the ass. <laughs> Yeah. They're more trouble than the worth. Yeah. That's when I realized that what that expression actually meant. We fired around for like half an hour to try and figure it out. And went back to just to rolling it. Yeah, this might be an end over end through the gate. But yeah. I wonder what she weighs. Mm. What do you think? 300? No. 250? 220? Say maybe 200. All right. Uh, pretty wet or dry. Um, it looks damp. Wee bit damp. Yeah. Wee bit damp. Yeah. Wee bit Well, he cocked it up. Well, at least you can't break it. Uh, he broke the concrete, so. Oh, that'll happen. <sighs> Are you helping Sam? See, I like, I like to make the, the new owners to do a little bit of work for it. Come on. Come on, Mark. <laughs> That's a terrifying bark you've got there. I know. That's a terrifying bark. Oh, you're nice and toasty. Look at this thing, what kind of dog is that? <laughs> border Collie Pomeranian. A Border Collie Pomeranian. Yeah, where are we going? We're gonna go here. Yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> That's good. Okay, now push it. Uh-oh. There you go. Well, you know, you did your part. I tried.
past the entrance. All right, what do you think to your new log hive so far? It's great. Looking good. Ooh. Yeah, trying to bring some. Can't wait to see the bees inhabit it. Can't wait to see them uh, get going and see if we can raise a natural hive that we're not worried about taking their honey or all that. Just enjoying them because they're the most fun to have around. It's just a very comforting feeling to just have them buzzing around. They're just amazing creatures. Hey, where's your 18 bees mug? Oh, oh. Okay. go get it. All right, give me a pitch for 18 bees then. <laughs> so, if you guys want to uh, help out, you can join uh, 18 bees. It's like three or five dollars a month. That just helps pay for like you know all the tools and stuff I like got. Do you want to give that a squeeze that that mug, that frosted glass? Look at that. Perfect. Love it, Mark. I really appreciate your support, oh, mate. Hey, I appreciate. You. Are you kidding? Do you, know, do you know what it would have cost me if I would have paid to have that done? How much? <laughs> this is fantastic. How much oh. would it cost? To have somebody bring this in and take, it would have been at least $1,000. Probably 750 to, to find somebody that knows how to do it and has the expertise, understands how to hollow out the center and all that. Yeah, this is a labor of love. A labor of love. Yep. I'm on to the next one. All See right. you guys.